Green at the Racer 41, 334 in ticking. Again, a Max Protect shotgun set, but they send a man in motion far side, throw right side, and it is caught by the Racers. A pick at the 29-yard line on the interception. Marquez Sanford, his second interception of the year. And great, great pressure up the middle by the Racers. They... They brought Sean Rodriguez right up the middle, number 31, and he was right in the uh, quarterback Cook's face, and he was actually just trying to get it out of bounds. He was. He just didn't get it far enough, and Sanford was there uh, and said thank you very much. All he was able to do was to kind of catch it and fall out of bounds, though, but, uh, but that's great news. The racers have answered the turnover by the Murray State offense by coming up with one of their own to give it back to the racers here in a scoreless game and six of six on the season that is of course tied with several others who haven't missed this year this would be a 22 yard field goal stratton holds there's the kick it's through the uprights and perfection continues for vicente and with 12 44 remaining 12 36 now that i can see 12 36 remaining in the second quarter the racers lead ut martin three to nothing. As to the right side to the tight end, he's out at balls the 50-yard line, and the ball's picked up. The Racers have it. This is Shipley out across the 30-yard line. The Racers have the ball on the fumble by Brett Thompson. That was Zach Shipley who picked it up and rambled for about 15 yards. And Neil, he just got in there and ripped that thing out. If- also give uh, Mauricio Page. Uh, credit on that because he's the one that hit him, hit the the ball carrier uh, so hard that the ball was loose, and then Shipley just got both arms in there and just ripped it out, took it away. Second and 16, the Racers with the ball at their own 47. Martin shows blitz. It's a bad snap. Bentley picks it up, steps up out of the pocket, throws. He's got a man open. It's caught at the 22, down at the 15, 10, 5, and at the goal line, it is into the end zone. It's fumbled and picked up for the touchdown by the Racers. And I need to see who that is. It's Daquan Dallas who picked it up. (laughs) I think that's... And there's no flags down. It's pouring down rain again here at Martin, Tennessee. The result of the play was a fumble. Ball rolled forward in the end zone, recovered by the offense. Results in a touchdown. So the the big yardage on the play turns out not to be the guy who uh, gets the touchdown. So the catch was made by Austin Thomas, freshman from Dresden. It's his first catch, Dave. There you go. And Daquan Dallas recovered the fumble, another freshman from Memphis in the end zone on the Racers are now a point from tying this game with 4.30 for tied 10-10. Martin with the ball at the 25. Troy Cook be going into a win. He hands it off up the middle. He's going to get it out to the 35. Racers say the ball is loose, but I haven't seen the officials concur. There is a helmet off. There's still two racers that say they have it. Let's wait and see. The white hat still hasn't signaled it. And there, there they goes. do. It is the racers' ball. Wow. It is a fumble by Marquez Grayson, and the Racers take over on the 30-yard line. That Murray State sideline is going nuts over there, and it's still just pouring rain here at Hardy Graham Stadium in Martin, Tennessee. So the Racers get the turnover with 4.27 to go. They can take... 33-yard line, snap back to Bentley, hands it to Nichols, has some room across the 30, 25, 20. He's down to the 17-yard line. Martin sold out, and it is an amazing run. Wow, that's the longest run of the day for the racers. And uh, Nolan Nichols is the guy that's come in, the kid from Marshall County. He's come in and really given this team a lift uh, with just the the, uh, never-say-quit effort. Burse is holding. Here's the kick. It is on the way. It has the distance, and it's good with one second to go. The final second ticked off. They might put that second back up there as the racers celebrate. Let's see what the officials decide to do. But they're coming off the field, Dave. It appears the racers have won this game, and I see Jason Simpson meeting with the white hat down there, wanting to see if there's some more time that should go up there. Are we meeting or heading to the dressing room? I just want to be sure. I think the officials are heading off the field, which means the racers have won this game by a score of 13 to 10. 